Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about the second class of antiarrhythmic drugs. We have four main classes, class 1, 2, 3, and 4, and they're classified according to the channels they block. Class 1 is a sodium blocker. Class 2, which is the topic of this video, is a beta blocker. Class 3 is an everything blocker. And class 4 is a calcium channel blocker. Anyway, here are the medications for class 2. Interestingly, their main action is not on the cardiac cells, but rather on the SA and AV nodes. They slow down the neuronal activity in these nodes, decreasing the heart rate, and they favor the AV node. So it makes sense that they're used for any case where the heart rate is high, such as the case of supraventricular tachycardia and AFib. And because they're beta blockers, they can mask the effects of hypoglycemia, which is something they love to ask about in the USMLE. Hypoglycemia slows down the body and the heart and the brain and everything. And so does beta blocker. So it's very difficult to know if the patient is hypoglycemic while they're taking beta blockers. Anyway, being beta blockers, they also cause impotence and exacerbation of COPD and asthma. They also have sedation effects on the CNS. Ismolol has an extremely rapid effect and extremely short half-life. So it's used in cases where we need to decrease the heart rate very quickly, such as the case in post-op patients. Metoprolol causes metabolic syndrome by inducing weight gain and hyperlipidemia. Propranolol is known to cause vasospasm of the coronary arteries in some patients. Mimicking vasospastic angina. So remember, propranolol, painful angina. Carvidolol and labutalol are the only beta blockers medication that can be given to pheochromocytoma patients and cocaine using patients without loading them with alpha agonists beforehand. To remember the antidote for beta blockers, I remember gas. Because they slow down the heart, so they slow down the car and you need gas to speed up the car. Here's a small quiz for you. So what cardiac phase is affected by beta blockers? And here is the answer. Alright guys, that's all I have. Hopefully this helps and thank you so much for watching.